on my nerves. That was the only thing. <laughs> yeah, I was like, just make, make sure I get it over the plate. So I, I'm actually really excited to see the video that comes out after yeah. she throws it out. And the weather should be good too. The weather should be good. Although we will still be noticing the hazy look to the sky, like we're seeing out there over Annapolis right now. It almost looks dreary. This is just that haze associated with the wildfire smoke that's still in our upper atmosphere. So we're a little bit after sunrise, at least in Annapolis, Maryland, closer towards DC. We're just a little bit after that sunrise right now. And this is the wildfire smoke forecast and where you see the yellows that's where it is a bit more thick and then once you see the grays moving in that's when it's a bit more lighter uh, so we are seeing that it's going to be sticking around through at least much of the day today and as we look ahead towards tomorrow morning even dc is still going to be tracking more of that hazy look to the skies as we get towards tomorrow morning's commute yet again and then we should finally start to notice that really clearing out towards the end of the week so again hazy skies continue today breezy out there for your tuesday afternoon not only that we can't let that chance for a stray shower, but these will be few and far between. Not everyone will be seeing those showers. Humidity and the temperatures will be rising this weekend. And we may actually see some rain. Now today there's a chance for a stray shower Thursday as well, but then looks like by later on Sunday is when we could be tracking more of that rainfall and even into next Monday. Temperatures out there right now. We are 40s and 50s for much of the region, but we are into the low 60s in DC. That is the warmest spot on the map at this point. Those winds relatively light right now. Mainly out of the west northwest, between three to seven miles per hour. These will pick up later on this afternoon. We're looking at 10 to 15 mile per hour winds, mainly out of the north and west, a few gusts in excess of 25 miles per hour. Satellite radar showing us the setup. We do have this cold front off towards our north. Now it'll continue to sink its way southbound. And that'll be pushing in later on this afternoon. I think between 3 p.m. or even a little bit later than that, and that will spark up that shower threat later on today. So via 3 p.m. on Futurecast showing us a few of those splotches of green. And that continues to move its way southbound as that cold front continues to sink its way south as well. A few of those showers just south of D.C. as we get towards, say, 7 p.m. And then we should be all in the clear as we get towards later on tonight. And also gradual clearing of those skies. Temperatures into the mid to even upper 50s to low 60s as we wake up tomorrow morning. Bouncing back into the upper 70s to low 80s for your Wednesday afternoon. So today we're going into the mid 80s. Tomorrow just a touch cooler right around 80 degrees for your Wednesday. By Thursday, also those high temperatures right around 80 as well. Now Thursday also has that chance for a straight afternoon shower. This is right around midday time frame. So we could be seeing a few of those. So again, that cold front diving its way southbound for our Wednesday. Thursday also looking mainly dry aside from right into the middle of the afternoon with that disturbance is off towards our east. That could be throwing us a few of those spot showers. And then Friday is all dry. It will start to notice a few of those clouds strolling on in. And then by Saturday also dry. It's Sunday that we'll be watching for later in the day for some showers, thinking closer towards later on towards the evening and a night time frame. But over the next three days, we have the stray afternoon showers today as well as Thursday. Wednesday is looking dry, high temperatures right around the low 80s that day. Looking at towards the rest of that seven day forecast. So we're back in the mid to even upper 80s for this upcoming weekend. And that's when we're gonna be tracking mainly dry conditions aside from showers. That'll be returning to the forecast later on Sunday and those scattered showers and even possibility of some thunderstorms. That threat will continue into next Monday. Shanika, how are those roadways out there this morning? It's looking pretty